Uh, I want to kick things off and talk a little bit about the dollar. What is the feeling okay. in Chicago about whether or not the dollar keeps going higher from here? I, there, there just seems to be nothing to stop it right now, no obvious alternative. So does the market see more dollar strength? Well, this dollar, dollar power is a mystery. So obviously with uh, no rate hikes in the future, how can it continue to climb? Uh, we're up at the highest level that we've seen in almost two years since May of 2017. You see a strong trend, but if we look at today's action, you can see new highs in the dollar and we may see a lower close. So uh, that may be you know, a, a sign of uh, a slowdown. But the good news is the macro market disconnect. So even though the dollar is strong and up here at multi-year highs, we've got stocks and oil maintaining their overall strength on this big comeback climb. So I view that as a positive that the dollar is not having any impact on other asset classes. OK, so does that happen, I guess, is the question. It is weird that we get all of these things going <laughs> up at the same time. How long does that carry right. on for? Well, looking at the, the technical action, what's interesting there, uh, you're seeing the euro currency made new lows, but it's now positive. And what you're seeing is the volatility is, is sharply lower in the euro currency than it was just a couple of months ago. So that portends usually a good sign that a bottom is closer in place. So from a trading standpoint, risk reward, I'd rather be a buyer of the euro and a seller of the dollar. And even if you look at your pound, your pound's hanging around the 130 level still, which is significantly off that low at 125 that we saw in January. So we're seeing a slow grind lower in the other currencies and a drift higher in the dollar. It's not any any uh, you know booming market, so to speak. It's just a slow grind. And this rate question, you know, that's off the table. We're not raising rates in 2019 and maybe 2020 we might be lowering rates. It's it's gotten to be where we were a couple years ago when everybody had a race to the bottom. And I think that's really the situation where we are right now.